Day. You can bring in Zulfika Bakari, who joins us now, a close aide to Imran Khan. He's in London. First of all, uh, Zulfika, are you getting any communication from his team around him since his uh, arrest on Saturday? Well, after two and a half days of not allowing even his legal team to get, uh, have access to him, they finally allowed it uh, for a very short period of time to get signatures done, which starts the process of an appeal. Uh, in the morning, we had lodged a complaint in courts that the legal team, nor his family members, nor a doctor is being allowed uh, access to Imran Khan. So eventually they gave about 20 minutes access to one single uh, lawyer, not the entire team. Um, and, uh, and one thing that Imran said was that he is uh, being kept in very inhumane um, conditions. He is a former prime minister of a country. He's entitled to category A prison. Uh, instead, he's been put in a Category C prison, which is basically equivalent to death row and solitary confinement. Um, he's not receiving medical or proper food. Um, and, and although his entitlement is, like I said, for Category A, he unfortunately isn't being treated that way. So we're very concerned and worried for him at the moment. Given that a few months ago we saw protests every single day, it felt like on the streets, clashes against the police, and Imran Khan saying to people, don't just stay at home, come out. No sign of that. What, what's your take on why it is so quiet right now? Well, the take is that we are internal core committee meetings. We've, you know, we, the, the chairman Imran Khan gave us clear instructions that we, we cannot be arrested. And he doesn't want more, uh, more workers in prison. Don't forget, we have around 13,000 people that are in jail at the moment. Um, so right now, what they've done is that the, the hundreds that did come out, they all got arrested. And, uh, and so what we're trying to do is flash protest, but certain areas have uh, the deputy commissioner has imposed section 144, which means that there's no gatherings of above four people are allowed anywhere. It will result to an immediate arrest. So with elections, we're hoping to be announced very soon. We don't want half of our party and our party structure uh, behind bars, which I'm sure is exactly what they want. I know before being uh imprisoned on Saturday, Imran Khan spoke about how the party would live on beyond him. But given what you're saying, Zofika, this sense of arrest within the party, your colleagues, I just wonder if you have fear that we are starting to see a crumbling of the party. I mean, you're talking to us from London. Do you realistically think you could be uh, saying what you are now if you were in Pakistan? Well, uh, probably if I was in Pakistan, I'd be in hiding or definitely arrested. I had stepped out much earlier due to some business requirements and on my way back uh, the same day Imran got arrested so um, so that stopped me from getting onto the Pakistan flight but all our main leadership is in hiding or they're behind bars at the moment but what we don't want is that to go on any further Imran Khan's popularity is humongous more than it ever has been and even more so after the arrest we had a mayor we had a mayor election yesterday in the province of KP and we swept it uh, even though there were massive uh, stories and incidences of rigging, but Imran Khan's party still swept it. So we have no worries when it comes to the actual elections. As far as people deviating, we have over 700, 800 seats. They haven't even, not even 4% has deviated. The only difference is they've made big news of the 4%, but actually it's not even that that have deviated. So our party is completely uh, intact and stronger than ever. So, Figa, good to talk to you and for the, the updates on uh, the condition of Imran Khan as well. Uh, Zofika Baran, a uh, close aide to Imran Khan in London.